Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how I transformed my TV stand. So this piece was a dark brown before, but I painted it white. I did not show that process. This is the color that it was before. The whole idea to change this piece was because I didn't like that the tempered glass was clear and you're able to see what's behind it, so I wanted to change that. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to make the X's for the doors. So for this part, you can use whatever you like, paper, cardboard, newspaper. If you have any better ideas to do this part, then you're more than welcome to do so. Be creative and do whatever works best for you. This is going to be to make our outlines for our X's and you'll see what I mean in a minute. I use newspaper, I use two pieces and all I did was make sure that both ends here were even where it ended, this side as well. Down here, outline the bottom part and the same thing with the top part. I'm going to do the same process we did here over here just in case measurements are goofy. I'm also going to do the same process on the sides because I want to make X's on the sides as well. For the sides of my piece, all I did was place the end of the newspaper at the bottom and also at the top. Now all I'm going to do is trace the sides so I can get the shape. Once you have the shape of the glass, you can go ahead and grab your stick and place it on top and see how you would like your pattern to be. I will insert here a picture of how I wanted my sticks to be. I found this pattern work best because prior to this, we were kind of doing it wrong and I will show you what I mean by that. So I found that this pattern here worked best for the look that I wanted to get. I'm going to place this corner just where it ends there. I'm going to do the same thing on this corner. Put this end right where it ends. Now I'm just going to go ahead and trace this shape with my marker. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and place the wood on the other side and do the same thing. This is what our pattern looks like and I'm very pleased with it. But of course, you can always play around and get the shape that you're after or that you would like. So I just wanted to show you what the pattern for our side looks like and then what the pattern for our door looks like. One is longer and then the other one is obviously shorter. And I'm going to do the same exact thing for my other side and the other door. Now all we have to do is Okay, now that all of our patterns are cut out, all we're going to do is simply place them on top and I'm very pleased that all three cutouts fit on one wood stick. Now all we're going to do is trace our pattern on the wood. So now that we traced the patterns onto our wooden stick, now it's time to cut them out. Okay guys, so I will be using this mini saw to cut out my patterns with, but I will insert here a mini saw with a mini plastic mitter box from Amazon that I believe is around $11. They also have another one that retails around $20 I believe. I will be ordering one of those sets for any future projects, but of course you can obviously use whatever it is that you have. If you have a machine, if you have any other way to cut this, then you're more than welcome to do so. <laughs> Okay guys, now that my patterns are cut out, I'm going to go ahead and paint them. But of course, you can do this step way before cutting them. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint them white. Okay, so now it's time to make our tempered glass a mirror. So all we're going to do is remove our doors. I placed the two doors on a mat outside in a ventilated area. I am going to prep my doors to put this Krylon looking glass over them. I'm going to use a mini scraper to remove any debris or anything that may show through when we have the mirror on the other side. And then I'm going to clean it with some glass cleaner and finish it off by wiping it down with some napkins. Nice and clean. I also put some clear tape around the doors just to protect it from the spray paint. 
Okay guys, so we're going to use this Krylon Looking Glass Silver Spray Paint Bottle and it's telling me to use five very thin coats and wait one minute between each coat. So it's also telling me to spray paint about eight to 10 inches from the surface. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and shake this baby up and get started. I'm going to keep applying some coats on it only because it's not as opaque as I would like it to be. So we're going to see what happens. So far this is the result that it's giving us on the other side. I think it looks great. I would like for a little bit more opacity in the back if that's even a word. So we're going to go ahead and spray paint a little bit more on the back. I used two bottles of the Krylon, there's the other one, to get it that opaque. If you're going to use this, definitely do sweeping motions. It's best to use in sweeping motions. So this is the final result. And I am very happy with how it looks. Let me know what you guys think about the results in the comment section down below. And this is how opaque it looks on the back. Also, I do want to point out that this is tempered glass. I think if it was glass, it would look way better, but I am very happy with the results. Now that my pieces have dried, I'm going to go ahead and place them on my door. And my side pieces have also dried, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I'm going to place those. I'm also going to take this time to replace all of my old handles for these pretty handles here. So this is what it's looking like and I want to tell you that if you have any loose pieces or if you just want to tightly secure your sticks, I would recommend using some Gorilla Glue, also a hot glue gun just to temporarily hold it in place while the Gorilla Glue kicks in. But I don't have any more glue sticks so I'm just going to go ahead and use the Gorilla Glue and I'm also going to use this for my side pieces. So for my side pieces, all I did was glue them down with Gorilla Glue and I held onto them for for about five minutes until I saw that they were really stuck on there then I let them go so I'm just gonna put some glue on here as so I painted the wrong side of this one but we're gonna go ahead now and put it in place So now I'm just going to hold it down in place for about 5 minutes until I see that it has dried up some then I will let it go and then I'm just going to go ahead and paint it. I want to let you know that for little cracks like that if they tend to bother you you can use some lightweight spackling to fill in those cracks. I think I'm going to go ahead and use this spackling to fill in those cracks but I just wanted to mention that to you guys as well. So this is what my side looks like. I also put some spackle in there. That is what that looks like. Okay guys, it is time to put the door back and to show you the finished result. Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed this DIY. It's very easy and simple to do. I hope that it inspires you to upgrade any piece that you have around the house. I had a lot of fun filming this DIY. Please let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!